Welcome back to my bathroom. Today, for video number nine, we're gonna be comparing the differences between bleach and color remover. Player one is color remover. We're gonna be using this one. I actually picked up at Sally's. I'll put the Amazon link in the description box below, but there are a ton of different types and brands of color removers. Just grab this one because I haven't tried it before. This particular brand you can mix with water or 20 volume, 20 volume developer. I'm gonna be going with developer today because this is a darker level, this shadow root. That's what we're gonna be removing. So I'm afraid if I use water, it's just not gonna work. To mix this up, you use the entire packet, it says. Whoa, <laughs> looks like this. And it goes with two and a half ounces of developer. Just gonna use this kitchen scale, zero it out till we get to two and a half ounces. There's one, yeah, two and a half. Let's get the mirror out, yeehaw. We're gonna apply it on this side of this shadow root, only on the colored part of the hair. We are not going to be touching the bleach. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I've got a lot of funky colors happening. Right here is my new growth never been colored this really light part then this color turned darker over time this actually looks like a level two to me very dark black then it fades to like level six and then my ends are level nine so it's got several different things going on but we don't want to touch the new growth or the virgin hair because this is a bleached base lightener meaning it is going to lighten my roots and I'll probably have hot roots. I'm sure it's gonna happen because I'm kind of sloppy. We're gonna start right here and I'm gonna put a piece of foil right here because I don't want this color remover to touch my pre-lightened or blonde hair. It will cause it to literally snap or break in half. Just applying it on this band of color and I'm just gonna kind of feather this down. Then take another horizontal thin, 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 thin subsection. So that way this can penetrate the top and the bottom. The application is really similar to a basic root retouch. Now, if your whole head needed to have color remover on it, you could do this in the sink and kind of shampoo this in. So the end goal for me is to take out this darker band of color to show what's underneath. So in my case, what's underneath is about a level nine. It looks just like this. We just put color on top of it. This product is not gonna bring me back to my natural hair color. This really light, ashy level six, seven color. Because I have previously bleached what's under this color and stripped out all the color molecules, there's none left. Color remover goes inside the hair shaft and in a sense cleanses out the color molecules that live inside. When you apply color remover, you can typically watch it break through these cycles of hair color you've had. If you had blonde hair, then put purple over it, then decided a few weeks, let's put red over it. When you apply the color remover, you're gonna slowly see red fade out, then purple, then you'll go back to what was underneath, which is bleach. It's kind of like peeling back layers of an onion. You're unfolding all those colors that you've compacted on top of each other over time. Whereas bleach completely strips out the color molecules, almost zaps them out so none exist. Because this is a slower process and slowly uncovering the layers, it is a lot better for your hair but sometimes this takes several applications. Bleach is a lot quicker, but it does tend to damage your hair more than a color remover would. And you can also use a color remover if you have a lot of buildup in your hair. From hard water, well water, chlorine, pool water, whatever product, compacted color, whatever it is, you can mix this up, quickly shampoo it in your hair, and then rinse it, and it will strip away that layer of gunk that's holding onto your hair. If you do it quick enough, you won't remove the color, just the junk, but you gotta be quick. Okay, and I'm just gonna feather it on the top. Because this is mixed with developer, it is going to expand because it's working off the heat of my scalp. So it's gonna expand upwards and downwards when it puffs and swells. So I already know it's probably already gonna lighten my root area. Yeah, it is, which is fine. But you can see here, I will probably have hot roots. Wonderful. This process is for about 20-ish minutes. Let's move this old gal. Now for this side, we're going to be using bleach or lightener. I went with the Salon Care Prism Lights Powder Lightener. This is also from Sally's. It's a blue tint and that's gonna help cancel out unwanted orange tones when you're lightening. Still probably gonna have to use a toner though, but it helps a little bit. So one to two ratio, so we're also going to be using 20 volume so we can compare the difference is equally. Difference is equally. Okay, so that's an ounce of powder, two ounces of developer. Perfect. Ooh, I still have that yellow hair color. God bless. Here's where this hair color kind of starts. So same little gimmick. I'm just going to apply it to this band of color and doing my best not to overlap this lightener. 
that will also cause it to snap and break in half. Super thin subsections. This lightener can go on the scalp if you want it to. I'm just gonna move it pretty close to the scalp. By the time it works off the heat from my actual head, it'll start to swell and puff up and touch the root or top area. So I'm okay with that. I'm gonna turn the brush vertically to get this little whoop of color. Bringing it down, down. And just like the other side, we're basically just finding that color and painting over it to break it up. The cool thing about bleach or lightener that color remover doesn't do is it will remove any type of hair color. Henna, bauxite, temporary, permanent, semi, demi, it will remove them all. Not all color removers are going to remove things like henna. And they're all different. You really just have to read them. My favorite go-to color remover has always been Provana Artificial Color Extractor. It comes in a kit. It is a little bit on the expensive side. And the only reason we didn't use it today is because it's really hard to find if you don't have a license. They do sell it on Amazon, but they triple charge for it. And that's just not fair. So we're not even going to go there. But if you do have a license, I would strongly recommend you get that kit. It's good to have in the back bar of your salon in case you have a color correction and it's safe to use multiple times. So you could use that kit, let it process and see, oh, there's still some color, use it again. I think you can use it up to four times in one day. With this particular color remover, I would probably suggest, and I don't know because I've never used it just from what I've read on the direct manufacturer's directions, I would use this, then use bleach over it. Woo, that was too close to the scalp. Dang it, we've already made a mistake, that's okay. Here we are at the top. Let's go in and dissect some of this color remover part. Woo, I am going to have hot roots, which is just when the roots are a lot brighter than the rest of the hair. It is kind of challenging to fix, but that's okay. That's just part of the process but it is working. It's taking out that darker color and you can see it's lightening it to a nice auburn brown. Can you see that? We're peeling back the onion. We're going through all those layers. Looks good. It's doing what it's supposed to. And the lightener, it's kind of hard to tell because I just put it on. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Here's the color remover side. Obviously hot roots. Would have been beneficial for me to stay off my little baby roots, but it's kind of hard doing it on yourself and since they're so tiny. To me, it has a little bit of a red tone, if you can kind of see this pulling through, because under that color was also red. I don't know if you'll remember, but we did the shadow root and added a filler of red in it. So it's breaking up the dark, under the dark, red, under the red, blonde. It's obviously not where it needs to be, but the manufacturer's directions say 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo it out just so I can give you a clear result. I'll obviously have to do another process or lighten it again. Not too worried about it because the cool thing about hair is you can fix pretty much anything. And if you can't, well, get your wig, sister. So to me, it's not a big deal. But definitely not fixing it today though, y'all, because it's sunny outside, I'm gonna get out there. <laughs> okay, the lightener side looks a little bit more consistent in my opinion, but hard to tell until it's shampooed out. Also has the hot roots, user error. It seems to be working about the same, but now the lightener was left on less time because we did this first. So I'll shampoo this, dry it, and we'll go over it. On this side, we have our color remover. You can see the hot roots, that's fine. It did lift up some color, but we still have a band of dark. Ah, some of this is still a little wet. But then on this side is our lightener side. I think the lightener side actually looks a lot better. It looks like it did a better job. It took less time. And to buy a tub of lightener is a lot cheaper than buying several packets or color removers. So for me, I would pick player two as the winner of today's game. Now, obviously this is not a good look and it'll need some correcting, but it's a good base. They both did what they were supposed to do. So that's really cool. But again, just because the bleach lightener is a little bit cheaper, faster, I would go with that option, but it really depends on what you're doing at home. If you're trying to remove fantasy colors, purples, blues, greens, oranges, color remover usually is your best bet. If you're looking to remove more natural, neutral tones, bleach, lightener, probably your best bet. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, comments, which one you like better, drop them below. I can't wait to see you next week. I'm not really sure what we're doing. We're either doing a product review or continuing the hair color series. Who knows, it's a surprise for you. Um, and well, I guess it's a surprise for me, but I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. Here's your daily dose of doctor. Between the ghost and